Good morning, everyone. My name is Sylvia. Today, I would like to talk about my airline, which is called Royal Family Airline. I've divided my presentation into three parts. First of all, I'm going to go through the background information of my airlines. Then I will talk about the airline operators. And at last, I will share with you what I have learned in this project. Let me introduce the background of the airline first. Royal Family Airline is the first airline in Canada to provide civil aviation services. With its hand office and main hub located at Pierre Song International Airport. The main aircraft used in my aviation fleet is A350 to 900 SWB. On the route, my airline chooses to set up international routes, so the plane's route will cross the Canadian border. Taking into account the company's interests and market needs, my airline chose some countries with fewer routes as destinations, including the opening of New York, California, San Francisco, France, and Germany. The reason why I choose these countries is that they are in great demand and there are not many threats from potential competitors, which will reduce the company's competitiveness. For newer established airlines, no competitiveness can sta stabilize their market position and are not controlled by fierce market com competition. Then let's move on to my next part. In terms of operating mode, in order to provide a better air experience, I use traditional airlines as the operating mode. This model has a wide network of destinations that can meet the preferences and needs of various customers, including busy business travelers and frequent flyers. Moreover, my airline's positioning is mainly for international flights, which can stabilize cost control and systematically monitor the aviation network. Furthermore, as an international airport, I accept flights from other countries. Next, in the airline sales strategy is to determine the ticket price based on the market's purchase intention and sales volume. So the ticket price will fluctuate up and down. Let me give you an example. During some special days such as Christmas, New Year, and summer holidays, airline will increase the flight prices during those periods and must adjust the ticket price level accordingly in the off-season to make the entire plane full and earn the most profit. If only half of the tickets are sold for a certain flight, the company will assign different price levels for each flight. For example, Certain seats can be purchased at a cheaper price, thereby attracting customers to purchase to reduce the chance of loss. Let's move on to my next point. If you look at the screen, you will see one of the airline schedule. After calculation, hours between each A-chat is every 56 hours. And the total flying hours of the aircraft in that schedule is 19 8 hours. Next, I will introduce my airline's low factor of 2021Q1 to 2021Q2. After calculation, the annual average low factor is 87.39%. This shows that my airline has a high level of passenger capacity. Last but not least, there are a lot of things that I have learned from this project. First, 
I learned how the airline operation worked from studying virtual airlines. It included cost estimations, time requirements, solution development timetables, and perfect expectations. Second, I also learned about the decision making from the virtual airline lessons. Because the virtual airlines management need to make decisions and set direction by themselves. Third, it improved my ability of data and analyzing. Since I have to collect various data for comparison to finish my work in the lesson. This is the end of my presentation. Thank you for your listening.